truly, it's a blessing to be here today. Amen. I want to thank God for another opportunity that he's given us to just come and be live on the radio. Amen. 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 I want to thank God uh, for my pastor, the Reverend Dr. Clyde May Jr., for allowing me this opportunity to share the word of God with you today. Uh, I want to thank God for Reverend Robinson, thank God for Deacon Wimbush, and for that fervent prayer, and for just another opportunity just to be here and be on the Lord's side. Yes. Amen. I want to send this out, this uh, program out today to uh, Sister Emma Irvy. Uh, she's a friend of my wife's aunt. Well, she's my wife's friend's aunt. And uh pray God strength will be hers and God blessing will be yours. And to all of those who are going through and dealing with situations and circumstances. Amen. Amen. Know that God is well able to do anything but fail. Yes. If you have your Bibles, would you turn to John chapter 20? I'm looking at verse 25 through 29. And while you're turning with one hand, take the other hand and pick up the phone and call someone and tell them to turn on Gospel 900 at 6.60 a.m. WGOK. Because he is a word from the Lord for us today. Amen. John chapter 20, verse 25 through 29. And the word of the Lord reads, Like the disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. Mm -hmm. But he said unto them, Except I see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, mm -hmm. and thrust my hand into his side, yes. I will not believe. Mm -hmm. And after eight days again, his disciples were within and Thomas with them. Yes, sir. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Mm -hmm. Then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands. My Lord. And reach hither thy hands, and thrust into my side. Lord. And be not faithless, but believe. believing. Hallelujah. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord uh -huh. and my God. Yes, sir. Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they which have not seen and yet believe. Amen. That's great. Amen. The subject God gave me for this study today is a life of scars. Look out, Dick. A life mm -hmm. of scars. Mama. The year was 1994. All right. There was a popular animated movie that Disney spent $45 million to produce. My Lord. And over the course of the next several years, this $45 million production turned into almost $1 billion dollars in gross revenue. My Lord. The name of the film was The Lion King. Right. Yeah. Right. In the movie, there was one character that <laughs> stood out. Yes, sir. This, this character turned out to be Simba's uncle. Yeah. And his name was Scar. Oh. <laughs> and if you remember anything about the movie, it's a good movie, by the way, but yeah. if you remember anything about the movie, and if you remember anything about the character Scar, uh -huh. he had just that. Sure did. A scar <laughs> over his eye. <laughs> now, we were never told how he got the scar. We were never told what happened. Right. We were never given a background and or history. Uh -huh. But when we were introduced to this character, yeah. that's the first thing that you notice. Yes, sir. That he had a scar. a scar. And not only did he have one, that was his name. All right. <laughs> Amen. Mm. How many of us today? If we will be honest, we could be called Scar. My, 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 my. How many of us have gone through situations yes, and sir. circumstances which have, have left indelible marks on us? Yes, sir. Some of them are physical. Mm -hmm. I was noticing even on my own hand, I remember it's been over 20 years ago now, I know I... I cut myself. I was I was hanging a mirror. I was trying to hang a mirror, I should say. Yeah. Then the mirror fell, and I tried to catch it, and it broke, and the glass went. <laughs> it cut my finger. Mm. 
Yes, sir. I mean, to where the skin was pulled up and I had to hold it down and keep it from bleeding. Well, I look at my finger right now and I still see the scar. The scar. That's right. The pain is gone. Uh huh. But the deep. scar is still yes, sir. there. Talk about it. And that's just one occasion. I'm sure that mm. many of you, like me, if you just look all over your body, yes, sir. you have stories. There are stories associated. Mm. With knee scrapes, with elbow scrapes, yes, with, with cuts, bruises, and abrasions. Some people have scars on their head. Some people have scars <laughs> on their faces. Some people have scars on their back and on their yeah. knees. And if we were honest, we have a life of scars. Yes, sir. Talk about it. Each scar tells a story. Dude, yeah. Each scar has its own testimony. Mm. Yes, Each scar has a defining moment in our life. Yeah. Some of the scars are little scars. Yes, sir. They are minor scars. They are somewhat insignificant scars, but yet they're still <laughs> visible. Yeah. And then you have those that are big scars, those, mm. that, those that demand attention, those that you can't ignore. Yes, sir. That reminds me uh, uh, of this, this, this story I heard uh, about a man who, who he, in fact, he had this birthmark that, in fact, it covered most of his face. It was like someone had actually taken a knife and just cut him across the face. Oh, and yet people wonder why he was so upbeat, why he was so positive, why he had so much confidence. Yeah. And this one guy asked him one day, he said, he said, look, can you explain to me why is it uh -huh. that, that, you know, that, that scar, which is so visible, it's so obvious when yeah. everyone sees it, why doesn't that make you self-conscious? Mm-hmm. The man told him, he said, well, you know, my dad told me that when I was a baby, the angels kissed me. Mama. And that's where that scar came from. And so, and so, and so, so his father took that which would seemingly be something, in fact, that would hold him back and made it a positive. All right. His father told him a story about an angel kissing him, causing that scar on his face. Uh-huh. Well, 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 I tell you, when we consider the scars in our own life. Look out, Dean. And the stuff that we've gone through. Yes, sir. They all have a purpose. Amen. In God's plan. Yes, sir. In our text today, we are looking at Thomas. Yeah. Who, unfortunately, if you look at the previous verses, he wasn't there when Jesus first showed up. No, he wasn't. But this time, when the Lord did show up, <laughs> he was among them. Yes, sir. Because that 25th verse, it says that, that, that the other disciples, they... In fact, they talked to him and they told him that they had seen the Lord. But he mm -hmm. said, unless I see for myself you know what he said? the prints in his hands and thrust my hand in the side, yeah. I will not believe. Mm -hmm. that was it. A lot of us, you know, we've often heard the term doubting Thomas. Uh -huh. And that's oftentimes not a compliment. No. Nah. Because when people tend to use that, they use it in a derogatory way. Meaning, like Thomas said, unless I see for myself, I won't believe. But here, 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 here we see Thomas, Thomas here making this declaration that he won't believe unless he sees. But then Jesus shows up. All right. In the 26th verse, he shows up and he says unto him, peace be unto you. you. All right. And then, and then he says, reach your hand. And this is the thing about the Lord. Even though he wasn't there. All right. When, the, when Thomas made this declaration, Jesus said word for word. All right. What Thomas had uttered to the disciples. He told him, he gave him his own instructions back to him. He told him, he said, look, reach your hand hither and, and, and behold my hands. And reach hither thy hand and thrust it into my side. And be not faithless, but believe. Yeah. Jesus here was encouraging Thomas to believe yeah. the best. That's right. Oftentimes people are so quick to say, look, I'm not going to believe it. Listen. But. But, but but here Jesus is encouraging Thomas Show him. to believe what has been told unto him. Uh -huh. The good news yeah. of his resurrection. Yeah. The good news that he's no longer dead, but yet alive yeah. forevermore. Thomas said, unless I see for myself, I won't believe. All right. But Jesus here gives him an opportunity and a chance to put his words to the test. Hallelujah. Because when he did, verse 28 said, and Thomas answered and said unto him, my Lord mm -hmm. and my God. Yeah. Now, we didn't see it per se 
in the text, but Thomas, he had some scars. Oh, yeah. He had some scars of doubt. Yeah. Right. He had doubt and disbelief in what his disciples, his brethren, the ones who had, who had been with him, he had doubt about what they said. Yes. Mm -hmm. He had scars of doubt. Yeah. My question to you today is, what scars do you have? All right, D. There are a lot of times when when you know we are presented with things that can cause scars. You're right. Yes, You're right. But my sir. question to you is, yeah. are you trusting in God? Yes. You on it. In spite of what you say, yeah. or in spite of what you think, in spite of even how mm -hmm. you feel. That's yeah. right. My thing is this: if God be for us, Listen. who can be against us? Oh, God. Jesus in this text here, he was telling Thomas, look, just because you've seen, you believe. All yeah. right. But blessed are those who haven't seen That's and right. yet <laughs> believe. Oh, Our faith is what keeps and carries us on all the way. Faith has brought us this far, and yeah. faith is going to take us all the way home. Amen. What are you believing today? Yes, right. Are you believing doubt? Mm -hmm. Are you believing in disbelief? Yeah. Is that what you're resting on? Is that what you're trusting in? Yeah. Or are you trusting in the true and living yeah. God? Jesus here, he told Thomas, he said, look. You see me, yes, you right. handle me, yes, you touch me, yes, and you believe, but blessed are those yes, who have yet to do that and yes, still, still believe. believe. I believe. Yes, Jesus dealt with his scars, yeah. with Thomas' scars of doubt. But you know, I think about even in the Old Testament, yes, Joseph, he had some scars. Yes, he had family scars. Yes. People were jealous of him. Yes. His brothers had a problem with him. Yes. They tried to have him killed. Yes. One of them said, look, let's don't kill him. Let's make a little money out for him. And they sold him into slavery. Yes. But little did they know that they were doing God's will. Yes. What the devil meant for evil. God meant for good. Yeah. My question to you is, what kind of scars do you have? All right. Because regardless of what scars you're dealing with, uh -huh. and we're not just talking about physical scars, yes, right, emotional yeah. scars, yeah. mental scars, yes, it, emotional scars, yeah. those scars that are not easily seen. Yes, Every wound deserves attention. Yes, Every sir. scar needs to be dealt with. Every scar needs to be addressed. You may have scars that right. people can't even see. You, on it. you may have scars of mental scars. Yeah. You may have economic scars. Yeah. Some people have health scars. Yes, Some people got relationship scars. Yeah. Some people have job scars. Oh, Some people have church scars. Yeah. They have scars running throughout their life. Yes, yes, they have a life of scars. Yes. But my question to you is this. Do you know that God can take those scars yes, yes, and turn them into something yes, wonderful? Yes, sir. When you look at the scars oh, that you yeah. have in your own life, oh, God. God is well able to turn them around yes, sir. and make something good out of oh, it. Yeah. God is able to fix that situation yes, sir. and make it better for you even where you are. Yes, sir. I think about the woman at the well. She has scars of promiscuity. Yeah. She has scars of promiscuous. Yeah. She has scars of a bad reputation. Yes, but yet and still, Jesus, he dealt with the situation. Yes, yeah. That's one thing about God. He doesn't side skirt things. Nah. He comes straight to the point. Yeah. God don't let us get away. Nah. He don't let us get by. Yeah. But God will deal with us. But see, that's the thing I love about him. Yeah. And I see I love about him. Yeah. God don't try to destroy us. Yeah. But he's going to build us up. Yeah. He's going to make us better than we were before. Yeah. He's going to make us stronger. And that's why I thank him. Thank I you. thank him for my life of scar. Because yeah. through each scar, guess what? God has healed. Yes, God has made a difference. Yeah. The scar may still show, yeah. but God has healed the pain. Yes, and he left the scars a testimony. Hallelujah. Don't you remember when I brought you through that? Yeah. Don't you remember Glory. when I made a way? Glory. Don't you remember when I set you free? Oh, you Don't you remember how you came through? Yeah. Don't you remember how you almost lost your mind? Yeah. And yet I saved you. Yeah. Don't you remember how I reached out and yeah. grabbed you? Mm. Don't you remember how I showed up? Yeah. Don't forget what God has done for you. Yes, Don't forget how he made a way for you. Don't forget what God has brought you from. Yes, yeah. Don't forget what he did for you yeah. when everybody turned away. Yes. Don't forget what God did for you. Yeah. I'm talking about a life of scars. Oh, oh, yes. A life of scars. Yes, but I couldn't, I couldn't even think of ending this message without talking about the greatest scars. Yes, and that's what we're talking about today. Yes, the scars that Jesus suffered. Yes, yes. What he I went through on our behalf. Yeah. The scars in his hands. Uh -huh. The scars in his side. Yes, the scars in his feet. Oh, Those were some scars. Yes, Why? Because they were redemptive scars. Yes, his scars, the ones he had oh, even to this day, yes. are a reminder yes. 
yes. of his sacrifice yes. on the cross for our sins. Uh -huh. God loved us so much yes, he that he gave his only begotten yes, son Lord. that whosoever believed in him yes. should not perish but have everlasting life. Uh -huh. Thomas said, I got to see to believe. Yes. My question to you is, can you believe without sin? Yes, can you trust God in spite of? Yes, can you trust God in the midst of? Yeah. Can you trust God regardless as to what people say. Uh -huh. Can you believe God? Yeah. Can you believe his report? Yes, I don't care what the world says. Yes. I don't care what the devil says. Yeah. I don't care what you even come up with yourself. Yes, what does God say? Yes, Give me what God said. Yes, I'll stand on that. Yes. I can't stand on my own word. No. I can't stand on what I think. But I can stand on the word of God. Yes. I know that God didn't bring us this far to no. leave us. Yes. God didn't bring us this far to let us go. No. God didn't bring us this far to leave us by the wayside. No. God is going to take us all yes, the way. My question to you today is, are you trusting in him? Yeah. Are you keeping your eyes focused on him? Are you trusting in the ones who has the scars of redemption? Yes. The ones who gave his hand. Yes. He gave his hands to the nails. Yes. He gave his hands yes. to the nails. Yes. He gave his feet to the nails. Yes. He gave his side to the spear. Yes. He didn't pull back. Nah. But he did it for you yes. and for I. Yes. God sent his only begotten son yes, to, to, to have those scars. Yes. Those scars. The scars that redeemed us. Yes, the scars that saved us. The scars that made it possible for you and I to have a right to the tree of life. Yes, Lord. So I don't care what you're facing today. All right. I don't care what you're going through today. Yes. I don't care what you're dealing yeah. with today. Yes. I don't care what's going through your mind. Hallelujah. I don't care what got tears in your eyes. Uh -huh. I don't care what you're facing. Yes. God is well able yes. to heal that scar. Yes. I don't care how hard it hurts. Yes. I don't care how deep the cut was. Yes. I don't care how big the wound is. Yes. God is well able. Yes. He's yes. able today Lord. to bind up a broken heart. Yes. Yes. He's able to fix the wound. Amen. He's still in the mending business. Yes. There's no scar too deep. Yes. Yes. There's no scar too big. There's no scar too painful. Oh, yes, that God won't heal you. Yeah. That God won't fix it. Yes, that God won't make it right. Mm -hmm. God will do it today. His reputation is on the line. Yes. God is the one. He said, look, this is my game. Yes. I'm running the show. Yeah. God is in control. Yes, He's the one who's making the way. God will fix it today. Yes, take, take it to him. Take it, take it to him today. Turn it over to Jesus. Yeah. Give it to him. Oh, Let him heal that scar. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You, you'll be able to run on and see what the end is going to be. Yes, you'll be able to keep going. You'll be able to press on. You'll be able to go on. You'll be able to march on. Yes. You'll be able to tell people that God is still able. Yes. He's still in the healing business. Yes. He's still in the saving business. Yes, He's still in the redeeming business. Yes, He's still in the way making business. Yes, yes. God is able. He's able today. He's able to heal those scars. Yes. He's able to heal your scars today. Yes, I don't care what you're facing. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care how many scars you've had in your life. God is able to heal a life of scars. And you know why I know? Because he let his son die. He let his son have scars in his hand for me today and for you. His scars. His scars. Even after he was dead. Even after he was resurrected. They're still there because they show that God loves us. Yes, sir. They are testimony today. That's what they are testimony to God's love. Yes, sir. Don't doubt God's love for you. No. Don't doubt God's ability yes, to heal you. Yes, Don't doubt God's ability yes, to make yes, a difference. Sir. Don't doubt God's ability to take the scars in your life yes, sir. and make them a testimony. Yes. Because he can do yes. just that. God is well able yes, sir. to handle a life of scars. A life of scars. This has been Deacon Sakona Prince of the Trusted Partners Ministry of the Liberty Missionary Baptist Church, where the Reverend Dr. Clyde May Jr. is our very fine pastor. Yes, and we invite you to come out and share with us tomorrow yes, in our 11 o'clock service. Yes, but, 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 but don't meet us there, beat us there yes, by, by, by coming to Sunday school, yes, which starts at 9 o'clock. Yes, come and learn about God's Word. Yes, come and learn how God can heal the scars in your life. Yes, and then come hear the Word of God preach to you yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, and I guarantee you, your life will never be the same. Yes, I invite you to come out and come share with us yes, on Wednesday night for Teachers Meeting, yes, Bible Study, yes, for our Women's Ministry on Thursdays, yes, and our trusted partners. There's a place for you at Liberty. Yes, is, There's man. a place that God wants to take you yes, and I Lord. tell you you can find that place yes, if you come to the house of God right. with a willing mind yes, and a determined heart yes, to be all God called you to be. Yes, we thank you and we thank God for you today. Yes, now we turn it back over to the hands of Brother Carter.